Now, if you've been watching Matt out on the mountain, all that snow's given you a taste uh, for some uh, fun in the white stuff. Just a word of caution before you head out. The conditions this winter, we're told, are ripe for avalanches. And I imagine right now is the time to learn about The CEO of the Mountain Safety Council, Mike Daisley, is with us live from Mount Ruapehu. Mike, thanks for, for, uh, for bearing with us. We've had technical issues due to this phenomenal snowfall overnight. But um, tell us about why the conditions yeah. right now are so dangerous come avalanche time. Um, it's a good, good question. I mean, looking outside, and I was partly jealous at Matt driving around the snow cap, but then uh, quite, quite privileged to be uh, standing here in the cafe because it's nice and warm. But right now, there's been quite early in the season, there was a lot of snow that came down and then froze. Um, and then all the new snow that's sitting on top of that is, is, is causing a, quite a high chance of slippage. But it's important to remember that that can be quite different across the country. Um, and if you're in a ski field like we are here today, uh, that, that risk is really, really well managed by the ski team here in, in say, Mount Rapehu or any ski field. Yeah, I was going to say, and, and the ski fields, because of the management areas, the, the risks are, are very highlighted. But for those who really just want to take off back country, uh, how much of a risk are you taking and what sort of preparations do you actually have to put in place? Yeah, because this, this message is all about when you leave the ski fields, if you come through a ski field to get out there, um, there is some real risks, um, so that's why it's important to, to look at our avalanche forecasting, so through avalanche.net.nz, uh, through the Mountain Safety Council's website, um, or even through the Met Service you can find that, because it's really important to remember that uh, a day like this is, is not necessarily good to get out, but so you come out on a nice sunny day, and you see some people disappearing over the back of the ski field and you, you want to try some extreme snow angeling, um, that's the sort of uh, message you need to be knowing. Uh, you might not be aware that there's even avalanche risk available to you. And even then, when you look at the forecast, they often differ, let's say, uh, from, from Met Service, maybe very different from what you actually find when you get up the mountain. Yeah, well, the, the, the avalanche forecasting is, is particularly accurate. Right. Um, the guys have really nailed the last forecast down the Remarkables in Taranaki. Um, and it's, it's also important to remember that while uh, it's, it's essentially like a traffic light system, so if it's red, absolute don't go. Um, orange and yellow, you, you need to consider it. And if it's green, it's, it's, all, it's all fun and games. So um, it's important to remember that it's, avalanche risk is there, but uh, that's why the forecasting can tell you whether it's a certain part of the mountain you might need to avoid yeah. and you can still go and fill your boots on the other side of the mountain and enjoy it. And, Mike, I think it's important, again, we clarify, as you just mentioned, if you're actually in the main ski area in one of these big ski fields, they are phenomenally well managed. The, the, the risk is, is negligible. But if you do step out and you Excellent. are caught, Mike, I mean, traditionally I was always told, I've never been caught in one, thankfully, but I was always told downhill breaststroke is your best option. But um, quite seriously, is that what you should do? I mean, there's all sorts of little advice that's given, and that's, that's certainly part of the, the other part to this, is, is getting some real education. Uh, we've put together some video clips uh, with a, a TV company called Epic TV from the UK, um, and you can find sort of you know, great little nuggets like that. To be honest, I think if you're in avalanche, it's just, it's just trying to hold on and, and, and find your way to the top as quickly as possible. But uh, great advice in terms of getting some training and some avalanche awareness, and there's lots of courses available. Um, finding out the forecast through avalanche.net, um, and also remembering that you know, right now, so here in Ruapehu, it's, uh, it's very cautious, it's orange. Yep. Uh, but down Mount Hutt, it's green. It's, you can, you can, so it's, it's not the same all over the country. Yeah, fantastic. Mike Daisley, CEO of Mountain Safety Council, thank you very much for your time. And, uh, and a good tip. We'll head over and have a look at some of thank those you. videos. It's just